Hey guys, my name is Russian Badger, and we are playing on Eureka Harbor, a map that is reminiscent of only one song. If you ask me, dog, if you ask me, and that song is by America. I don't know if you guys remember that song, but you see, I've been through the desert on a horse with no name. It felt good to be out of the rain. In the desert, you can't remember your name. Do you guys remember that song, Back in the Day, by, by America? And I don't even know why I'm saying Back in the Day, because I am not even 20 years old, so... The joke is not on me. If you were trying to assimilate that the joke on, was on me, I don't know what you're insinuating, but it's not on me. But huge Chatty Cathy Gabfest down near A Garage. So I basically said, you know what, Mr. Tank? Let me schmeg it, girl. Let me schmeg it. And say goodbye to your big bird for tank. Yeah, feel free to say goodbye to it. And destroy vehicle. You saw that, right? Destroy the tank, okay? And feel free to run towards me as I shoot you in the face, Carl. Just good good afternoon, good morning, and good evening. And good night, if, if you would like to hear that. Now, this is witchcraft, okay? This is straight up witchcraft. I'm not even lying to you. This is not a fib. Okay, I'm gonna get the Grass Gobbling Bush Monster, and I'm gonna get owned by a T90 tank. How does that work? I blew up the tank like 15 seconds ago. How does how does that work? And, and if, if that's instant respawn, I I am disappointed, Dice. I am disappointed. Like, I don't approve of your conduct, Dice. Like, that should never happen. I mean, I think of of all the establishments or pieces of equipment that should respawn instantly, why not AA guns on Oasis? Why tanks? That that don't make no sense. If you ask, if you ask me, dog. If you ask me. But Wesley snipes. And yes, I am going to be lurking in this building for quite a while longer because you have to spam nades to to get A out of, to get all the enemies out of A because they like to lurk. They like to be some serious garage monsters. Okay, like serious garage monsters okay and I, I know how I heard somebody say I don't know I had a friend who was French back in back in high school he used to say garage or it was something like that but whatever monsters they are they are definitely lurking in the garage and yes I'm using the G3 which this is do you have any idea how baller the G3 is I don't think you even realize like this is the most balling gun ever because you can use it with any kit any kit you want and are you ready are you ready you know what? I don't. I don't think you're really ready. I. I don't think you're ready. Look. All right. One broski. Two broski. Three broski. And four broski. How? How did they defuse? Their their witchcraft knows no bounds. I don't know how they do it. I don't know how you guys do that. Instant respawn on tanks is somehow defuse objectives against all odds. I don't know how that works. But I'm not really sure. And. Ich habe einige Frage. Ist es G3 oder G3? Ich bin nicht sicher. Ja, es ist A, B, C, D, E, F, G und dann 0, 1, 2, 3. G3, sage ich das korrekt aus? Und ja, ich weiß, du bist blöde Amerikaner. Aber ich bin nicht sicher. G3 oder G3? I'm not really sure. Because I'm, I'm trying to translate it to German, but... I'm not sure if it, it's translatable or not. I'm just curious. Now, yes, I am playing Assault with the G3, which is most of the time not very smart, if you really ask me, because that's really implying that I'm going to survive so long that I'm going to have to give myself ammo. That's that's how ballin' I am, dog. That's how ballin' I am. And it, it's sort of egotistical, if you ask me. Now, most of the time, you're probably running Recon or... I want to say Recon or Engineer. I mean... It, I would use an LMG if you're playing Medic, but as you can see here, my teammates do get the tank somehow. I, for some reason, engineers on my team are always so awful, and for some reason in this game, they were actually decent. And look at this window monster over here. Look, he's the biggest window monster. He is just lurking, and it's not a good idea to lurk over the window when you have no wall next to you, no cover. And come here, you. Come here, you. Crouch walk like an MLG Pro a little bit more, please. Just please. And... This is exactly what I do, okay? This is this is how I does it. And I know a lot of you misunderstand, thinking that you don't play the objective if you don't on the crate, dog. Meow, 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 meow. Well, that's not the way it works. Basically, if I can explain to you this way, I'm the survivalist that closes the deal, seals the deal, all right? I'm the guy that stays alive and shoots anybody who tries to go disarm the crate, all right? And yes, I just got knifed. You might think the joke is on me, but clearly the joke's on him. If he's gonna run over and waste his time knifing me instead of defusing, totally fine, alright? Totally fine. And I'm not even mad. Like, am I mad that, like, you mad, bruh? He took your tags, he took your sandwich. I'm not mad. 
It's like, do you know how many people ignore the objective and go for knife kills on PS3? I hate to steal the, the scout's line on this one, but they are literally a dime a dozen backstabbing scumbags, if you ask me. They're, do you know how many guys are on PS3 that run around with lightweight and body armor and just stab people? And that's all they do? Dime a dozen, okay? Dime a dozen. And I'm not intimidated, nor concerned, nor interested in what you have to offer to me via knife kills only. That's really not somebody that I want on my team, but goofiest knife kill ever. Are you ready for this? Okay, I didn't know where the grass goblin bush monster was. Here he is. Okay, I'm going to get him in the right in the face. And you ready? Give me a sandwich, but look at this. Okay, it's, it's not the best knife kill ever. I can easily tell you that because clearly that's reserved for... For my ninja knife on this on this Russian medic named Ivan, but you will literally see it is probably the best give me all sandwich. It's probably the best sound effect of a knife that I've ever heard. So I'm gonna go ahead and BRB in just a few seconds here. I'm gonna let you listen to that knife sound, alright? Just listen to this knife sound, dog. You see, the problem is, I don't even know why I find that so hilarious. That sound just got me for some reason. Just, I don't even know why I find it so humorous for some reason. I'm not exactly sure, but at the time, I was lamowing and lolling all over my floor. It was it was lols everywhere. But this guy is not exactly going to be lolzing in a few seconds, if you ask me, okay? If you ask me, because you want to know why? Because Wesley, sit your fondella ass down before I make change. Snipes, that's why. That's exactly why. Now, yes, this this whole area right here, sometimes it's extremely great because the enemy team isn't throwing motion sensors, but sometimes it's really, really even better than that because you can get something that I like to call a double-double. You see, you get two with your G3, and then you get two in a double Wesley Snipes. That's just the way it works. Das, das called a double... Well, I kind of ruined the double-double because I shot that catfish in the face. I I know that's a little odd, but you see, it's extremely easy to clean up anybody that's trying to defuse A. It's like, you're really gonna try to defuse A, brah? That's not gonna work. But, come here, bush monster, don't try to knife me. Will you stop with the knife? I don't like, I don't like it when you do that. I really don't. It's like, stop trying to knife me. Just shoot me like a, like a real man, dog. Like a real man. And I'm not trying to say, like, knifing isn't, isn't great or and yes, I, I know, I'm going to have to explain it to you in a second, so I will, but this guy's going to go ahead and enjoy your M9. Enjoy it. And don't try to bounce a grenade off my base. I don't know what you're doing with that. That Direct impact doesn't hurt me, Daug. And I know you guys are going to ask, I know a lot of you do ask frequently, I'm not teabagging while I shoot people. That's just insulting. I'm, I, I, it's like a bounce up and down where you crouch and then you, you stand back up again and it's... It's kind of just like a gypsy trick that I like to do while I'm hip firing, and it kind of throws the enemy off because sometimes they miss their shots when if they're shooting at your torso. But I'm not teabagging while I'm shooting someone. That's just stupid. And yes, okay, look at this right here. Okay, are you ready for this? I know that guy's over there, and I miss with the first grenade, but then the second grenade. I don't approve of your conduct. Are you ready? Are you ready? And Wesley. Snipes, yet again. And yes, I am quite the grenade spammer, and that's that's just the perk of being assault. It is kind of troll physics if you ask me though. Do you just have unlimited supply of anything you want? And I'm I'm also one of those rare people that I always think of of Lewis from Left 4 Dead, you know, grab and peels. And look at that. Okay, did you see what just happened there? I I for like half a second, I looked up at my mini-map, and that guy spawned right ahead of me. You know, I checked the forward area. I'm like, there's nobody there. I'm, I'm cool to move forward. And then I check my mini-map. While I'm checking my mini-map, a guy spawns there and shoots me in the face. Awesome. So maybe the joke's on him. Maybe the joke's on me. But I think the joke's on Dice, because they... That spawn point is not exactly perfect. And the joke will also be on Dice later on. And... You see, exactly. This part is the best part. These, these little train cars, and... As I get this guy here, and I don't know how many M9 shots you're going to take, bro, but come here, Bush Monster, come here. And yes, I'm going to get this guy with the Abacon, like a kit switch, like Enigma, but this specific train car situation right here reminds me of the last time that I was here, and it was it was a little brutal, if you ask me, because does it really take two full, like two fully loaded 6 of C4 to kill a Bush Monster? Like, look at this lurking grass gobbler over here. Does it really take two sticks? No, but I did it anyways, because I like... 
I like to see bush monsters explode all over train cars. And yes, I still do have the Abacon, because I did that leak kit switch, if you ask me. And what is it with the tracer darts? You guys really need to tell me what is going on with the tracer darts. Why do you guys torture me like this? Every kit that I pick up is a tracer dart. And yes, I'm being quite the bush monster right here. He walked right past me, and that's why I hide in bushes, okay? That is why I hide in the bush. Biggest bush monster ever right here, but... Yes, yes, the guy's trying to defuse. I think not, bro. I think not, bro, Chacho. That ain't... That ain't fly with me, dog. That ain't happening. That ain't happening, all right? And pff, I still need to know, as this guy runs away, right in the pooper. Don't try to run away from me. And yes, I can easily say that... Even though the Abacon was patched, and there's really no cheap weapon setups in this game anymore, even the Carl Gustav and the USAS can be outdone really easily. And that guy tried to MK2 Carl Gustav me, and I said, you know what? I think not, because I clearly got him with the assault rifle, because all assault rifles usually outshoot Gustavs, as I get that guy in the face. But MK2 Gustavs are about as, about as annoying as UAVs. I don't approve your conduct, UAV. Get no scoped. How does that feel? How does that feel? And I was trying to think, what do I find more annoying? That UAV that I just no-scoped, like the UAV with all fire, that's really annoying. But is it more annoying than MK2 Gusev? Not really sure. I don't know if I can come to like a distinct verdict. If if I can think about that logically, like which one do I specifically hate more? And I really can't come up with one, but you see, using the UMP after using the G3 is just goofy because the UMP has such great hip fire, it's it's so incredibly odd, and the G3 hipfire is not as bad as you think it is, it's not amazing, but at the same time, it's still a 4 shot kill at any range with Magnamon, because that's going to bring you up to 25 damage per shot if you have Magnamon. So you really only have to hit him 1 out of 5 bullets to actually kill him with the hipfire. But then again, I mean, your your whole crosshair situation, your dat 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 that, that crosshair is pretty wide, but at the same time, the bullets are so large and they do so much damage, you really only only have to hit them a few times. Like four shots, or four shots out of 20, that's, that's not a real burden, if you ask me. And yes, I know a lot of you point out that I'm quite the window monster and I don't break doors. Some of you said, I just played a game with you, Russian Badger, and for the entire hour that we played, not a single door was broken. And... I'll explain later, after I get this guy in the face. Come here, catfish. How does that how does that M416 taste? I bet it tastes delicious this time of year. I'm not sure about about May or June, but I hear August is quite nice for the M416. And you see, it, it was weird for me because using the XM8 and the M416 weapons that are great, by the way, after using the G3, it was sort of odd. Now I'm not saying the G3 is bad, but it's got a very unique touch to it. Like you you need to learn how to use it correctly in order to be very lethal with it. I'm not saying it's bad because I know a lot of you will get mad. Like the M4 the M14 is also a great weapon, and it's all about how you how you use it. After this guy gets M9, and as you can see, I'm using my my usual hack route of going to find a corner. And I know you're coming in here, bro. Just and pff, luckiest Wesley snipes ever. I can easily say that. Now we're hitting up around 40 tickets, and I know how difficult B is to get. So I basically said. I'm switching to smoke. I don't care. I don't care what you're saying. I know I know a lot of you say, why did you switch weapons? Because you get three. It's too difficult for you, man. You're not good enough, man. It's like, no. I just wanted to switch to a smarter weapon setup that's better for the situation. So I just smoked the entire place out. Like, you don't even know. I smoked so much. And I'm not... That sounds weird because I'd have, I've never smoked a cigarette nor any kind of illegal drug. So that sounds very misleading. But... The M16 is perfect for that situation where you can kind of get them from far off from medium range due to the very accurate three-round burst. You could use the Abacon, technically, but that would make you... I don't know if it would make you a catfish, but at the same time, what do you... What, what, the objective is over here, guys. I don't know what you're doing. And witchcraft. Are you ready for this witchcraft? You mean to tell me he shot me when he was his barrel was not even facing me and I didn't hit him with a single bullet? Dice! Wishlist for Battlefield 3! Better hit detection! You mean- that's- my barrel's like right on his torso! And then he somehow tele teleports behind me and shoots me in the back. I don't know how that works. But anyways, I went ahead and just- Sometimes you just gotta sew it up and be a man. You just have to be like, I'm not gonna complain about it. Although I just didn't complain about it. I'm not gonna like boot them from my server or anything. That's not a big deal, because I don't own a server. But anyways... I'm going to go ahead and switch up to Recon here with the Thompson, mainly because I really like to think that 
I've already platinumed all the other, you know, the assault rifles and the the SMGs and, and the LMGs, so I basically said, you know what, I've only got the, the special kit weapons left, or the multi-kit weapons, and I might as well just use a Thompson, because the shotguns are already done, and I'm not going to use the USAS or the Sega, because that would that make me a blatant catfish, if you ask me. If you ask me, Doug. And the Thompson is, is I don't know if I want to say it's better than the G3, but it definitely has some qualities that I like a lot more than the G3. It doesn't, it doesn't have the range. I can easily tell you it doesn't have the range. And goofiest sensor throw ever. I kind of paused after it. It's like, what happened? Like, my hand threw it, and then pff, a few seconds later, somehow my, my motion sensor went out. I don't know how that works. Not specifically sure how that works, but it's always smarter to run. I mean, something other than assault, like I said, with the multi-kill weapons as I get this catfish in the face. Because it's always so much more valuable to have sensors or an RPG and a repair tool than and it is just to have an ammo box, because for the most part, unless you're like MLG Pro certified, I crouch walk everywhere, you're probably going to die before you, before you run into ammo, so ammo's not a huge deal most of the time, but yeah, I got taken down here. And something that I must tell you is before you enter this green double stack, you need to make sure that you do not lurk in here, okay? Do not lurk in here, because if you lurk in here, you get collateral headshot with slugs, and that's not exactly an enjoyable experience if you ask me. Not exactly enjoyable. Now, this last base can be kind of difficult, but if you spam the entire place with motion sensors, it's really easy, and you can see where anybody's coming from, especially Carl. Come on, come on over here, Carl. Stop being such a trickster in the back of the spawn and come over here, Carl. Come here, you. And that's exactly what he gets. I mean, that's that's the value of motion sensors, is obviously you can see exactly where they are, just portable wall hacks, that's the best. And even a structure that's this, that is this small, and you can easily, easily, well, I'm going to say easily that, easily one more time, but if you throw a sensor, like, right, just about right in the center of this entire structure, you can basically see exactly where every, every enemy is within the entire structure, so pretty valuable, pretty valuable if you ask me. Now, I'm going to get one more guy, and I'm going to get a piece of one more guy, and I just got direct impact, yeah, Direct impacted with an M2 Carl Gustav. You are pro. And at the same time, you know what? It doesn't matter if it was an AT4 or an RPG. I'm not going to cry about it. You can you get direct impacted with any rocket launcher. You're dead. You're dead, brah. You're dead. And this is basically the end of the game. I hope you guys did enjoy. I know a lot of you are curious as to which tactics I like to switch up. And I don't want to explain too much tactics because, because you guys probably know more than I do. I'm not like, you see, you go to this MCOM, you flank the right side, you shoot this guy in the face and motion sensor and ammo boxes. I'm not trying to push too much strategy on you guys because you guys probably play the game better than I do. But this is the end of the game, guys. I want to thank you very, very much for watching. And if you didn't stay for the bonus clip, the joke's on you because I find it moderately hilarious. But see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Alfieder Zane and Bisbalt. See you next time.